Aaron, uh, a lot of the videos we've seen that UT puts out and practice and hype and things like that, you're being really vocal and you're getting guys, you know, energized, things like that. Is that something that's natural for you or did you kind of grow into that and in comfort now in your second year? Uh, yeah, I feel like um, that's just me as a person, who I am. Um, I try to lead by example, but also be vocal, um, especially coming in. Um, from my freshman season to now, that was a big um, aspect that I wanted to grow upon. So I feel like um, carrying that momentum into the season, um, I feel like our team will um, just get better from me being more vocal, especially me being out there on defense. Brian and Austin. Coach Enge was talking about how much time you've put into film study and things like that. How, how far do you feel you've come since the end of last season in terms of understanding the mental side of the game? Yeah, I feel like it's night and day um, compared to last year and this year. Um, you're not just out there um, just focusing on what you're doing. I feel like you're also focusing on, on the task at hand of what the offense is trying to do, um, thinking about the call, what we want to um, execute in that call, and <clears throat> just the best way possible um, to execute and do better. Um, I feel like from a standpoint of like mental, I'm a lot smarter and I'm more um, self-aware on that field. And, and when you look back at film from the end of last season, what, how would you describe how you were how you were on the mental side of the game at that time? Is it was it a, I mean, is it kind of painful to go back and watch some of the things, knowing what you know now? Yeah, you, you see a lot of things <clears throat> that um, that I did last year um, that I would be like, that's a bonehead mistake. But you're young and freshmen are gonna make mistakes, and that's the learning curve that I had to um, overcome. And I feel like once I overcame that, I feel like. I could just go out there and play full speed and um, just go out there and play. Arianne, you go back to the summertime. You and Caleb and Elijah and some of those Rutherford County kids put on that, that camp for kids. When you, when you do that and you're interacting with these 9, 10, 11-year-old kids, are you able to kind of see what kind of impact you can make you know, with just, just with your presence, you know, being a Tennessee football player? And what's that like, kind of being somebody that these young kids look up to? Yeah, you definitely see it going out there, seeing all those smiles on their faces and just seeing us and <clears throat> just us as guys. We feel like we're just um, another uh, – we feel like we're just normal people at the end of the day, um, just playing the sport that we love and doing it at a high level. So just being a big role model to those kids means a lot, just being out there, showing our faces, showing that we care and coaching them up and um, just wanting to see them not only be as good as us but if not better um, – and just with the aspirations that they have, it's amazing just being able to see those kids out there working with them and seeing the smiles on their faces. Kind of touching what you were talking about earlier about just the improvement in the film room, making that translation to on the field. Was there a moment for you where you were able to capitalize on the time you spent in the film room where you started to see it click on the field? And how encouraging has that improvement been for you? It has been real encouraging. Um, just taking um, things from the classroom to the field and being able to execute and see yourself making the play and then going out and doing it gives you just natural confidence as it is. So just a thousand hours of doing it over and over again has gotten me to this point. And I feel like it's a lot of things that we still need to work on, but we're um, a lot better than what we were, including myself. Eric? It's been quite a while since you played an actual game. What's the excitement level for you to get back out there for something that matters? Yeah, super exciting. Um, you know, it's been years for me. It feels like <laughs> just being out, being off the field, um, and just going out there and executing at a high level, playing hard as I can, and going out there and um, competing is just like going to be so great. Just playing with my brothers, running through that tee, um, it's going to be an amazing feeling. I can only imagine. I can't wait. Arian, how impactful was that defensive line in front of you to help you guys do what you need to do? Oh, super impactful. Um, I feel like us as the back seven, we can't do it without those front four. Um, those front four make our jobs a whole lot easier, especially with those big dudes um, starting in the front. Um, you know, you got Omari, and then you got um, Big E, um, Elijah, and then obviously, you know, we got Don Bailey and um, James Pierce off the edge, um, those guys, they really do it all for us. And I feel like without them, um, we wouldn't be able to execute at a high level that we do. And I, feel, I give them so much praise and I thank them.
How would you compare kind of those pre-game jitters that you feel leading up to this game compared to last year in your first year? Yeah, you know, you were going out there um, as a freshman. Um, you know, you kind of have an idea what to expect, but not too much. So you're kind of nervous. You're uh, a lot of first game jitters, first ever college football game you're ever playing. So um, just the, 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 the jitters between then and now is <clears throat> I'm more so anxious, I'm confident, and I'm just ready to go play. Um, knowing my assignment, knowing what I'm supposed to do and being able to lead at a high level, I feel like it's, uh, it's like night and day difference. A lot of people have heard a lot about Keenan Peely but haven't seen him play just part of one game last year. On the field, what are people going to see from Keenan Peely, the player? Yeah, you're going to see a, a, a guy who's very instinctive, very fast, very physical, and um, very fast for how big he is. Um, just seeing a guy like him, 6'3", um, 240, being able to move like the way he is, um, is just it's remarkable. And, um, I'm thankful to have a guy like that beside me that's not only fast, strong, and elite at what he does, but he's very smart and he's very um, – He's a, he's a leader, and he's very experienced in what he does. So just having him and being able to piggyback off him and him piggyback off me, I feel like it can only make us better on defense. What was kind of your emphasis from a physical standpoint this offseason? And, and are you looking to add, drop weight, anything like that? And, and how do you feel like that's helped you, whatever you've adjusted? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like this offseason, it was a – Big emphasis on obviously coming off injury, being able to maintain lean muscle mass, but also be able to drop weight and be at a comfortable weight where I can be able to run fast, um, but be able to run fast and hit hard still and be able to maintain um, my, uh, my weight and do what I'm supposed to do in between the tackles because working in the box, you obviously have to be able to hold your own. So being able to find that um, happy place in between, um, that was my – goal coming in, just being able to play fast, be fast, and um, cover and run down. Um, oh, yes, sir, I do.